Hey, what's going on YouTube? My name is Sir Collider and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. Uh, so I had to start over a bit. I started right there again and I came across the first bridge and, and accidentally killed him. I'm sorry. <laughs> My last hit killed him. He was already sitting on the ground, but I accidentally killed him. So Henry feels really bad now, but what we are going to do, we're going to loot him. And he has some nice stuff for me to wear. So let's just take it all and let's see in the inventory what we can do with it. Armor. Let's go over here. A coif. I could put this on my head. It will give me some... It looks ugly as fuck, but it will give me some defense. Hood wraps of soul. As you can see right here, if it's blue, it's better than what I'm wearing right now. So it has the same defense as my other the other stuff that I'm wearing, but uh, this gives me more conspicuousy, conspicuousy and less noise, I guess. My old boots, they are 80 noise, so yeah, it's much better to wear. Go for that one. Le leather jerkin, I will just put it over my green shirt. And the light gamson will uh, replace the shirt and it will give me some more body armor, but visibility, conspiracy and noise all goes up. But I would like to have some more body armor right now. And then we get the patched hose, which is the same armor as what I'm wearing right now. Uh, not head, uh, leg, plate. Yeah. Uh, but visibility, conspicuity and noise will go down, so that's good. So let's wear that one as well, and then I think we have it all, what we needed to get. And now we look a bit cooler, and our armor went up as well, so that's nice. Let's uh, continue. Let's put the sword away. So yeah, full disclosure, I did this episode already. Everything that's gonna happen now, I played already, and uh, but I made a fuck up with the sound, and it didn't record the sound of the game. So, yeah, sometimes I can be be a bit stupid, my mistake. But <laughs> it's not that bad because this game is so good, and the next part is so good as well that I don't mind playing it again. This game is just amazing. I don't I don't mind playing this part again, so. Let's continue here. Oh, Jesus. It's the charcoal burner. Oh no. The charcoal burner. God damn it. Not the charcoal burner. Well, there are a lot of dead horses here as well and that guy there. Yeah, we already did this part in the last episode. See that guy hanging here. Uh, it's, it's, it's so creeps the fuck out of me. Let's continue. Why did anyone and then, do this? What did these poor souls ever do to them? Yeah, I don't know, mate. But uh, then we're gonna start right he here where we last uh, finished. And we got that bridge and over there, so let's draw our sword. Because he will just come running at me. And I think now that we made our first kill, it's okay. We're already on the killing uh, part, so it's okay if we keep killing. Oh, not the other way around, please. Oh, damn. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Alright. My turn, mate. Get wrecked. Okay. Damn. Ugh. Okay, another dead Bridgent. Yeah. We already killed the first one by accident, so uh, Henry now has a feel for killing, so it's okay. We can loot him as well, and uh, let's just take all of his stuff. But now we are already. As you can see here, this is my. Uh, this all the stuff that I can carry and we are closing in on a maximum capacity. 
So maybe check out if his arm armor is better. Yeah, the condition of this one is a lot better, so let's put on that one. He has some hunter's gloves, and we didn't have gloves before, so that's that's good. Arm, arm armor, good, very good. Linen hood as well. That's that's better than that red shit. So let's put that on noble. Noble shoes, it buffs everything. So let, guess we can just put them on as well. What else does he have? Patched hose, which is. Uh, condition is a little bit better. Plate, plate counter. What the fuck are that? Oh, it's on my. Uh, uh, I don't know the word in English, but it's on my arms. Okay, that's nice to have. I guess noise will go up a bit, but uh, yeah, it's cool. It's fine. My arm is going up, so that's good. All right, but my health uh, did go down a lot. And we have some bandages, but I, I'm not sure if we can use them yet. Let's go to other. Ah, damn it. Um, apply. You can't bandage yourself, you're not bleeding. Oh, okay. Sorry, game. Let's put the sword away again. I'd love so. to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. Let's run this part. We can't go through there to the gates, so we're gonna go up here, around. We need to find our parents. And we're hungry again, so let's uh, put something in my mouth. Uh, let's see. Bread roll, let's do that. There you go. <laughs> this this game is so beautiful, it really takes me back to the to the glory days of gaming. <laughs> if you can say it like that when I first started playing great games like Oblivion, I was really stomped by that game and I get the same feeling here again, you know. It's just it's good. It feels like an old game, but it's a new game. You know, good old classic RPG with all of the new stuff, new graphics, and new cool things as well. I don't know if I'm explaining it right, but well, maybe you catch my drift. Oh boy. Another bridge. And... Ah. Let's uh, stab for a. For... Oh. Stabbing is not going great. Stab! Stab you! Good day, fine sir. Ah! Oh. Victor again! Oh, are you dead? Mercy kill. Yeah, he's so... He's really wounded, so let's... Let's kill him off. Ah, oh, yes! See, Henry doesn't like killing, but uh, he'll have to. Stick some bandages. Go to jerk and let's see. Uh, I think some of the stuff is uh, much better than what I have right now. Right, so now I'm over encumbered, but let's just take it all. Uh, oh, damn it! And then see what 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 I can miss. I can't run anymore because I have too much stuff. Way too much stuff. Ugh. Let's go to armor and let's see what, what's best. I got three leather jerkins at the moment, but I think, yeah, this one is in the best condition, so let's get that one. Um, This will replace my gambeson. Body armor is a little bit lower. Oh, that's because the condition is at zero. But I think it's, yeah, it's, it's, Light Gambeson is also at zero, and this Ordinary tar Jacket is cooler and way better, so I think we're gonna drop this one. Right now, let's see. That was quite heavy, so that's good. This stuff is quite heavy as well, so I'm gonna 
expose this one. It's a waste of money though, but alright. This one is much better than what I'm currently wearing, so get it. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Okay, now we need to see what's what's really heavy and doesn't cost too much. These noble shoes aren't that heavy and they uh, are quite some money worth, so just uh, like the hunter gloves. It's not the patch of those. Uh, the patched hose are not really heavy and, and they're quite some money. It's uh, some money as well. I think we need to get rid of another leather jerkin. Alright, so now we can move again, that's good. Very good. Now here we are in the town where my parents died. He didn't run like me. He died with a sword in his hand. Oh, this is the bailiff, that's right. Hey. Colson. Let's take that. Um, yeah, so when I played this first, he, he had a sword. But he doesn't have it anymore. Do I have that sword already or something? No, I don't have that sword. Already. It was quite a good sword, actually. But it's missing right now for some... For some reason he doesn't have th that sword anymore. I have to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. Oh, fuck me. I needed that sword. <laughs> so what we are playing right now, the, the, the last few episodes, the last few hours, this has all been part of the tutorial. And the main game will start very soon. But uh, it's so cool, this was all just tutorial. And uh, you will, you'll see for yourself. Hey, hello. If you learn. Used to buy a side and he did this to you. In the end, you were a hero. You didn't run away. Couldn't abandon him like me. I don't know who, who he is, but... Uh... No. No. Why? Not you. It wasn't supposed to be you, Bianca. I found the bastard that did this to you. I find it. I swear it. God damn it. I'll take care of my parents, and then I'll come back for you. I won't leave you like this. I'll just uh, take this as a token, you know. This is a keepsake to remember you by, my dearest. You see? <laughs> my love. Let's wear it. Remember her by, you know. Now let's go for my parents. Why did you do it to me, Father? Why? Why did you leave me? Forgive me. Forgive me for everything. Next time I won't run. I'll never run away again. I'll find the one who did this to you. I remember his face. I'll find him. But first, I have to find the shovel and, and take care of you. I remember you told me you wanted to lie beside Mother. Here. 
under the linden tree. At least I can do that much for you. Find a spade. But I hear a dog up there. I like dogs, so uh, let's go find out what's happening over here. Get away, you must. Get away, you beast! What's going on? Mishak, what in God's name are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? Digging turnips? The beast just went for me! Isn't that Mutt the Butcher's? Oh, Mutt. Isn't that Body the Butcher's? Yeah, that's him. What's that got to do with anything? Uh, let's see, you know, he's protecting his I'd master. Say the poor creature is standing guard over his master. You weren't trying to get to him, were you? What do you care what I'm doing here? What are you doing here? Um, I want to bury my parents. I came to bury my parents. So bury them and leave me be. I think he's looting, but he's just another survivor, so... Oh, fuck you. <laughs> That's just out of nowhere if I say that right now. But I need that spade, so let's you ask me that for spade. That. I have to dig a grave, and I can't find another. What's it worth to you? I see you have a fine sword. I'll gladly trade you my spade for that. How did you come by it, anyway? Well... You're starting to piss me off, boy. I think, uh... I'm gonna tell him shit. I'll stick that sword up your ass. Fine. I'll take the spade and you can have the sword. You can have it right up your ass. You think you can talk that way just because you've got a sword? Yes. Bullshit. I don't know much about sword fighting. It suits me. I'll knock your teeth in then. Nah, uh, you know what? Whoa! Just gonna grab my sword here. Shit! Shit! And that's right, boy. That's right. Turn tail and run, you bastard. You better run. There you go. So uh, yeah, we could loot uh, the butcher ourselves, but uh, I don't want to piss off that dog, you know. So let's go bury my parents then. Do what we came here to do. Mama, Daddy, I found me a spade. Oh, damn it! <laughs> I forgot the spade. Let's run back. Hey, Joffrey, how are you doing? How's going up there? Oh, I can see right up your skirt. Oh, that doesn't look so good. I ran past it, didn't I? Here we go. Oh. I want to jump, but uh, then I'm... Uh, it's the wrong button. Uh, where's that spade? Ah, here it is. Thank you. Right, now let's go bury my parents. Dig a grave under the linden tree and bury your parents. Okay. Do that. I can do that.
Whoops, almost out of stamina. This is where my dad and I used to forge some stuff. Uh, it's all gone to shit. I love to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. I'm busy doing shit, doing burying our parents, man. Stop this talking about place. food. You're gonna like it. Here. Dick, dick, diggity dick. So sweet. So. Let's get to it. Damn it all. Can't lift them up. How am I going to do this? Do you need some help? Yeah, gladly. Is there really is some help. Yes. Can't you see the sword? Oh, you Who are dick. You? What do you want? Zbyshek? Who do you think we are? Franciscan brothers? <laughs> We're here to rob you of everything you've got. Especially that fine blade that's of no use to a peasant like you anyway. Banish the thought. It is my father's sword. You mean him? I don't think he's going to be needing it anymore. Listen here, boy. You hand over that sword. I might just let you go. If not, you're in for a family reunion you really don't want. Leave me alone. Kill him, rat! I cut the bastard down. Oh boy. This is gonna be painful. Let's try you call that and do combat. this. No, I call this running. Die you! Damn it. Ugh. Die! Ow. Ow. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to lose this battle. I hope. Otherwise, I'd... I'm really, really bad. I told you how it would end. You should have listened to me. This is nice work. The chief is going to like it. It's new, isn't it? And now, for the maiden bloodletting. Surely your father never would have imagined it would be your blood. I believe there's a word for such moments. The old man would certainly know. But I'm just a common killer. 
Did you help make it? No doubt you did. Such miserable luck. To die by the sword you helped forge. Hey, go suckers! <laughs> the games are over. So yeah, that was the end of the tutorial and a beautiful beginning of the real game. A really, really cool intro. Some beautiful music. This, this game is so cool. And now we're having a nightmare. And I need to save my parents. Get my sword. Uh, some enemies over here. He's gone. I'm really strong in my nightmares. There you go. Let's go save my parents again. Or Phil again. Saving them. There we are. Do you need some help? Henry, can you hear me? 
Get up, Henry. Wake up. It's a new day. Henry, can you hear me? Hallelujah. I thought you'd never wake Praise the Lord. Were you having a nightmare? Yeah, you could say. Teresa? Hmm. You still have a fever. Uncle won't be pleased, but you'll have to stay in bed. Where am I? In Scalit? We're at my uncle's mill in Rattay. I didn't know where else to go. What happened? You don't remember anything? I suppose that's not surprising. I found you in Scalit after those bandits attacked you. I thought they'd done for you. But you were still breathing. Why in heaven's name did you go back there? It was madness. They slaughtered everyone who didn't run. My parents, I... I wanted to bury them. I had to... Don't worry. I took care of it. Thank you. Any good Christian would have done the same. Now sleep. You need your strength back. You're awake. Good morning. <laughs> it's near midnight. You've slept all day. Oh. <coughs> oh, I feel like a horse fell on me. The beating you took was worse. But at least the fever's broken. Mm. What were you doing in Scalitz? What in the world were you doing in Scalitz? Waiting to die. What? They killed my brothers. My family. My friends. They're all dead. All of them. Everyone I ever loved. They killed one of my brothers in the mines. After that, what did I have to live for? Don't say that. There's always hope. No, there isn't. But it doesn't matter. I'm a different person now. Well, I'm tired again. Oh, I'm exhausted. I'm not surprised. I'll bring you water and something to eat. In the meantime, rest. You're still very weak. Good morning to you. How's the invalid today? Ugh, I haven't felt as good as this since they lashed me to the wheel and quartered me on the town square. Got your sense of humour back. You must be better. My uncle will be glad to hear it. I had a job persuading him to let me bring you here. If he'd lain around much longer, he really would have dumped you on the town square. You can stay until you find somewhere else to live, but my uncle will want payment for taking you in and caring for you. <clears throat> well, I've been lying around long enough. Let's I've get been it. lying here long enough. Uncle will be pleased he's one mouth less to feed. But are you truly well enough? Well enough to do what has to be done. Where can I find Sir Radzig? He's in the Lower Castle in Perkstein. He's a guest of Sir Hannes of Leipa. But someone like you can't just walk up bold as you please and demand an audience. I know Sir Radzig. And I didn't bring him his sword as I was supposed to. I must see him. If you insist. But you need to speak to my uncle first. You've been in your sick bed for over a fortnight while he paid the apothecary to tend to you and for medicine. That's a good deal of a coin you owe him. I've been lying here two weeks. My God. Better a fortnight in bed than an eternity in the grave. If it weren't for my uncle, you wouldn't be here at all. Uh, I owe you my life, Teresa. I owe you strong. both my life. And I'll repay my debt. You have my word. All right. But before you go to town, you should eat something. You're still weak. There's food on the table for you. Yay, food. This is my, now my new home. You can sleep here whenever you want and you have your own trunk here. The contents of this trunk will be available to you in all your homes and renting lot. That's cool, so I can get more homes. Damn it, I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah, you're always hungry, boy. All right, let's uh, get my stuff back. Let's take it all. There we go. And uh, now I need to... 
equip my stuff again. Bianca's ring. And this gloves, I think. Leather jerkin. Noble shoes. Linen hood. What else did we got? Ordinary tar jacket. Padded black coif. Mm. Batched hose. Late powders. Yeah, there we go. I think we uh, bore our stuff on again. And we did lose that very, very cool weapon. So now we'll have to do with this, uh, this sex. Very unfortunate. Too bad. <coughs> right, so now let's uh, eat from pot. So otherwise Henry will just s s keep complaining. And let's uh, talk with this guy. With her, her uncle. My name's Henry. Thank you for taking care of me here. My name's Peshek, and I'm the miller here. You've already met my niece, Teresa. She took care of you for two whole weeks while you were in limbo. And talking of you being at death's door. While you were lying here, you worked up quite a bill with the blood letter. Who came now and again to keep you alive with his potions? That quack doesn't come cheap. I paid him what I could, but I still, that is, you still owe him. I see. Well, it's better to be in debt than to lie dead in a ditch. What do I owe? I'm not afraid of hard work. You won't pay for that shoveling manure. I might have a better job for you. And it's not something any fool can do. If you prove to me you're a clever lad, I might trust you with something you could really make money from. What do you say? Well, I really could use money. And I can't really pay him right now, so... Well, what would you need from me? A trifle. Just to take something from someone and bring it to someone else. And not get caught while you're doing it. That sounds straightforward enough. Except for not get caught. Why would anyone want to catch me? Oh, don't worry. It's just a job like any other. Only this one requires, uh... Let's say the right moral disposition. Do corpses bother you? No honorable man should touch them. That's the executioner's job. Did you expect I'd give you a hoe and send you out to the fields? You could dig all right, but somewhere else. I want to know whether you're going to hide behind some stupid fucking scruples, or if you might be useful for more unconventional work. Well, yeah. It's really not honorable, but I really could use the money, and maybe it's a cool quest, you know? I was prepared for just about anything, but that's a bit much. But go on, tell me more. Listen, it's about this ring my mate Wojciech, the Kohelnitz Miller, had his eye on. Trouble is, they buried the ring by the gibbet along with the villain they hung while he was wearing it. Jesus Christ, you want me to dig up a corpse? Take a ring from it and give it to your friend in Kohelnitz. There's nothing sacred to you. Money first, morals later. That's that true. That fellow is dead. He won't miss it. True Whatever as well. Whatever bleeding heart came up with the idea that it's disrespectful to disturb a corpse never read the Bible. It's still a human body, only it's missing a soul. Why be disgusted by something created by God? Yeah, we're just going to have to do it. I think I've already heard more than I need to know. You've got the tongue of the devil himself. If you tried hard enough, I bet you could justify sodomy with a goat. Watch your mouth, boy. There's a shovel here around the mill somewhere. If there's any problem, come and see me. And here's something on the side to make you dig better. Thanks. I'll need it. I can't believe I've come to this. Digging up corpses. Oh, and, uh... Watch out for the executioner and his hounds. They're pretty savage. And I don't just mean the dogs. You can just throw them some meat. The dogs, that is. But the executioner? Well, don't vex him. Well, that would be funny if the executioner came my way and I threw some meat in his face. So I got some schnapps, some alcohol to uh, get me going. Yeah, get a spade. So there's supposed to be a spade here somewhere. Uh, and I'm not really sure where it is because I forgot to get it the last time. Oh, look, the toilet. 
I can sit on the toilet. It's cool. Now, if I was the miller, where would I put spade? Hey, girl. What's what's in here? Oh, I can't go in there. Okay. It's really cool that while Henry was talking, you could hear his armor, sound of his armor, and you don't hear that if he isn't wearing any. So that's really cool. It's a spade over here. Nope. This game is so so detailed. It's so awesome. You know, with the with the layers as well that you see over here, it's just so cool. Body chainmail. That's a third layer you can put on. And leg chainmail, leg plate. So all of these different layers, it's ju just not one thing, you know. Can we level up again, actually? Oh, we can. Main level, show more. <coughs> Already got first eight. Enables you to use bandages. <coughs> oh, that's nice. Um, damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Let's go here, because I can level this up. I think we're gonna go for ascetic this time, because... Um, you last 30% longer without food, and that's very good. But as soon as you get hungry, the effects will be 20% worse, so we, we just need to evade that we will get hungry. And if you look at the map here, I got some quests. Vengeance, get father's sword back, find Markvard von Arlich, and avenge your parents. And this is the city where I'm close to. Let's get the mouse out of there. And then we have Awakening, go to Bergstein to see Sir Ratzik. And we have the good thief, so I could pay Miller, give him the money, but I could also get the dead man's ring for Miller Pershuk, and then we still have that quest skin. So this is the map, the full map, and um, it's really big actually. I'm all the way down in the south, near Stalmburg and uh, Rovna and Skalitz. I got all this other stuff that we are going to explore. <laughs> So that's really nice. Okay, now where? Ah, hey. This is it. Very good. Let's get that. Alright, we got the spade. Very good. Now let's run over here. I want to go in the city first before I do the quest and sell all the things I don't need. So we can get some money. Hello, good sir. Wolfram Pruda. Oh, you look old. But you know, his face is so detailed. So cool. Yeah, let's go over here. Go over to the city. And uh, I went here before as well. I can show you these guys real quickly. Get out of the way, chickens. So this is a bad house. Let's check that out. Bats. Hygiene. Alright, there's a lot of text about bats. <laughs> I will just read that in my spare time. And if I talk to this chick, Do I can take a bat, I guess. I'm enjoying these lovely girls over here in the bats, but I don't really know why I should take a bat right now. Probably it costs money as well, and I don't have it. Running, running. Oh, I'm in love with this game, you guys. It's my one true love. And I hope my girlfriend doesn't see this one. Because then I will be in trouble. But I think she would agree with me that th this game is, is, is just unbelievably beautiful. Right, we have arrived at the city gates. Hello, good sass. Just, uh, can I go in here? Oh. Apparently I can't. Halt! Who are you and where are you going? I'm Henry, son of the Scarlet's blacksmith. I'm going to see my liege, Sir Radzik Kabila of Dvoyets. Of course you are, lad, and I'm the Pope. What do you want from his lordship and what makes you think he'll see you? 
Well, last time I tried um, Sir Rudzik Blacksmith, but it didn't work. I have to tell Sir Rudzik what happened to his sword. That did work. So let's go for that straight away. I may not look the part. I want to get in. I know about honor and duty. And mine is to tell Sir Rudzik what happened to the sword he commissioned. All right, then. Go ahead. It'll be your skin if Sir Radzik isn't pleased. What is it? All right, let's get in here. The discovered camp. Check the... Damn, man, it's... they did their research. It's so cool. Not really sure what this is about, but... Uh... Hey! Hey! <laughs> let's go up here, so... I'm now at, at the end of what I played uh, the first time when it didn't work and there's some really cool stuff here I want to show you guys because this is the blacksmith and I can buy and sell swords at the blacksmith the cool thing is here that I can only sell my weapons Jesus Christ be praised uh oh okay and I can also repair my all of my stuff up here. So let's see. I'm I'm using it all and most of it is quite damaged as you can see here. Uh you pay zero zero zero. So this is not gonna cost me anything. Very good. So let's repair it all. Oh I haven't uh, selected it. Okay. Uh <laughs> deselect then? Oh, he, this craftsman can't repair such a badly damaged item. Oh, that's too bad. But maybe we can fix the sex. But it will cost me 10.5 and I have only 3.4. Can't really repair anything. But, um, let's talk trade. So the cool thing is, if I want to sell stuff to him, I can only sell my weapons, as you can see here. I don't really have him any weapons to sell to him. I want to keep my torch. Uh, and that's really cool because in some other games, you know, like there you have it, Skyrim as well. You can sell just about anything to a weaponsmith. Doesn't really matter. And here you can only sell weapons to a weaponsmith, which is logical. This guy has a lot of cool weapons, but as you can see, prices are really, really high. I can't buy shit because I'm broke as fuck. Look at that, 1.7k. These are some really, really cool weapons there. I want to get my father's sword back. That was the coolest. And what's also really, really cool is you've got this... You've got this dickstone over here, right? Uh, which you can use to... Uh, not dickstone. Well, what's it called again? Sex. Yeah, I want to... So yeah, I have to select which I want to use. What's it called again? Grindstone, that's right. So... There they explain what I have to do, and this is really cool. It doesn't do it automatically for you. You have to... You have to... Uh, keep pushing LT to... Keep moving the pedal. Then you have to position it, and the angle as well. And then you have to put pressure on it to... Make your blade sharper. So you have to do it all yourself. So you're not learning... You're not only learning in the game how to smith, but in real life, so not real life, but you know what I mean. You have to do it manually, and you have to get good at that as well, so let's try it. And if sparks are coming off, then I'm doing it good. And if smoke's coming off, like that, so now I'm doing it uh, the right way. But if there's smoke coming off of it, then I'm not doing it the right way, then I can even blunt my swords more. Alright, I don't think I'm doing it. Dude, this is really tricky, guys. Oh, smoke's coming off. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking it up, am I? And your stamina also goes down while you're doing this, so... As you can see there. Let's get my stamina full. I'm not really sure when you know when it's really sharp, but it's supposed to look shiny and stuff. I don't really see that yet. Ah, damn it, it's so hard. Where are my sparks? 
Because if you're not doing it right, you, you blunt the weapon even more. Alright, now I'm doing it right. There you go. I got it, I got it. Ah, oh, getting tired again. It looks better already. That's cool. Not really sure if it helps uh, in battles or something. Oh, I'm a master blacksmith, look at me. It's quite difficult, you guys. Maybe it looks uh, easy, but it isn't. Oh, I think it's sharp enough. Let's uh, stop doing that. You've reached a new level of maintenance. Very good, very good. What the? What? what? We could steal all of this shit. But, uh, I don't think he will like that. Maybe if we get good at thieving and assassin, I'm not really sure which way I want to go with my character. Make him a knight or an assassin or a thief or a combination of stuff, you know, but... It would be cool to see how thieving is like in this game. But I also want to be knight with honor, to defend the weak. To speak nothing but the truth, stuff like that, you know. Uh, okay, let, let's see if uh, you can see something about my sex that it minus agility tree not really sure if it's better now but I'm sure it is um so yeah let's let's just go to this guy and sell he's a trader so he will he will deal in anything that's good let's talk with him good health to you thank you Good health to you too, good sir. Sell. Well, I don't want to sell Bianca's ring. Um, let's sell the coif and uh, I'm not wearing this, right? So we can sell that as well. This one as well. Finish X, there you go. Uh, I'm not really sure what this does. Within one minute it will cure light wounds or the spell hangover effects. So let's keep that then. We can sell the old boots. We can sell this one. Uh, I've got two of these. Let's sell both of them. All right, now we can get some money. Finally, still, it's it's not much, but it's something. All right, check basket, and now we're gonna haggle a bit. Let's see if we can get something from this. Some more. I'd like to discuss the price. Sure, why not? All of these people are so friendly, I like it. So, he will give me 23.5 for it, but I want 26 for it. What about this? That's better. Drop in a bit more and we'll call it a deal. 24 he wants from it. Uh, I will say 25. Alright. And now? A nice sum. Just lower your demands a little and we'll agree. Damn it. Okay, okay. Oh, you went up a little bit as well? Okay, so good. Let's go for 24.5. One coin That's more. I can live with. <laughs> That's the way you get rich. Get one coin more than uh, before. Alright, um, uh, I really want to go on. This game is so cool, but I'm going to have to end this episode here. In the next one, we're going to explore the town a bit more and do some quests as well. This game is just awesome. Well, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And if you want to support my channel and see more of my content, hit that subscribe button. And you will be seeing a lot more of Kingdom Come Deliverance in my on my channel. And I will see you guys very, very soon.